even where they're not doing one of these audits or these investigations, this is what the theme music is now in Republican campaigns now. The Republican Accountability Project this week posted this footage of the Republican candidate who ran for U.S. Senate in Delaware against uh, Democratic Senator Chris Coons this past year. Chris Coons beat this Republican candidate by more than 100,000 votes. It was not close at all. But now she's doing the rounds in right-wing media saying she's calling on the Delaware state police. She wants state troopers to come to her aid to get her that Senate seat, to somehow take it from Senator Chris Coons, I guess by force, because she says that she's figured out that she's probably secretly the senator. She's super sure she won, but she wants armed backup from state troopers to go take the seat for her. They have proof of the dead voters. The people of Delaware, it's not just my seat that was stolen. It was the people's Senate seat. Chris Coons is not the U.S. senator from the state of Delaware. It's looking like Lauren Witzke is. So let me tell you something, Stu. I have a plan. As a private citizen, what do you do when you have stolen property yeah. taken from you? You call the cops. Exactly. So I'm asking the Delaware police, state police, to stand with me. I'm waiting for the audit to be completely uh, irrefutable evidence of, we have awesome people working on the audit, uh, irrefutable evidence of election fraud. Uh, and a stolen election. And I'm asking the Delaware State Police to stand with me to help me retrieve the people's stolen property. So that is my plan to reclaim my Senate seat. If it is without a reasonable doubt that that seat was mine, you know daggum well that I'm going to go and take it. Well, and you know what? That is exactly what the cops are there for. That's exactly what an upstanding and moral, uh, impartial, just law enforcement agency who swears an oath should live up to. They should live up to that oath. That's that's what the cops are for. That's what cops are for. That's exactly what the cops are there for. I'm going to go and take that seat. I want armed assistance. State troopers should go take that Senate seat by force in Delaware. That was the Republican Senate candidate from Delaware. This is the background music. This is the weird humming noise you hear now behind the electoral politics we sort of otherwise know how to handle and know how to cover. We otherwise know how to live with. The 2020 election was a year ago today. In the ensuing year, Republican voters, egged on by their leaders, have become less and less convinced that the election should have counted. They've become less and less convinced that those election results were real election results and that Joe Biden really is president. They've become more and more convinced to the point where a large majority of them are now convinced not only that the election was stolen, but the election results should be overturned and Donald Trump should be instated as president now. And, and in Delaware, apparently, they want the state troopers to go take a Senate seat for them, too. The, the 2020 election was a year ago today. The 2021 elections, these elections last night, rationally should not be a cause for democratic freakout, right? The ebb and flow of politics sort of proceeds apace. <laughs> Democrats losing one of the governor's races in Virginia and New Jersey instead of the two that the party in power in the White House always loses <laughs> the year after a new president is elected, that shouldn't be a cause rationally for democratic freakout. If you are looking for something to freak out about here, I would suggest the weird humming noise you hear in the background might be worth a closer look. The background politics, the background to the politics on the right right now are as dark and as frenetic as we have ever seen in our lifetime on the right. Democrats losing a governorship the first year they've got a new president is not a call for Democrats to lose their mind. But honestly, there's, there's, there's plenty of mind losing to do if you want to watch the bigger picture here.